Hi, I'm Chef Stevie. Welcome to A Fresh Take. Today we're going to redo protein bars. Protein bars. There are some good ones out there, but some of them are as bad as a candy bar. So I'm going to show you how to make your own. Yeah, it takes a little work, but then you're set for the week. Um, most of these ingredients you can keep on hand, you can change up the flavors, and it's going to be a lot less expensive than buying individual bars. You can use a lot of different kinds of proteins in your bars. You can use um, nuts, nut butter, uh, chickpea flour, um, you know, sometimes I like to use protein powder, and this one I'm going to use today. I'm going to use this Chosai chocolate protein powder from, um, it's a healthy dark chocolate, and it has a lot of bioflavonoids, you know, chocolate, um, if you get dark chocolate, a healthy, sustainable chocolate, it's actually good for you. And I'm not talking like the candy bars that you get in the checkout. I'm talking about good quality chocolate. It has a lot of antioxidants. Um, I try to get a little bit of it every day. So I'm going to use this protein powder today. It's GMO free, low glycemic, low fat, low sugar. Um, high in amino acids, gluten free, lactose free. It is a whey protein powder, so if you're allergic to whey, you'll want to use something else. Um, and it's got a lot of vitamin and minerals in it and a cold pressed omega 3 source. So if you're going to use a protein powder, make bars anyway. The bars you get at the store, there's no telling what they use in there. They have a lot of sugar in them, and there's also a lot of ingredients that I don't even know what they are. So I really like to make my own. So first, we're going to take some dates and chop them up in the food processor until they're really fine and maybe kind of start to get gummy. So. And we're just going to add all of our other ingredients except our mix-ins. Mix-ins are anything that you want to be chunky within the bar. You're going to want to fold those in afterwards. So if you want to add extra nuts, dried fruit, chocolate chips, anything like that to your protein bar and you want to see them and, and bite down on them and have them chunky, save those for after. So I'm going to use pecans, cashews, and walnuts. You can use any kind of nuts that you want. I'm going to add in my Shosai chocolate protein powder and there'll be the information on the bottom of the screen that you can, where you can get this from. My friend Esther, she can help you out with that. And if you're, if you're following a protein bar recipe and it calls for cocoa powder also but you're using the chocolate, then just add the amounts of protein powder to the amount of cocoa. So like it says a half a cup of protein powder and a quarter cup of cocoa powder, just use three-fourths of a cup of your chocolate protein powder. And I'm going to use two scoops. You could use oats, you could use puffed millet. Um, try to get the crisp brown rice cereal, um, not necessarily the mainstream one that people eat as cereal. You can find healthier versions of that. Salt, some coconut, so that's going to be some almond milk, you can even use chocolate almond milk, very little, just about a tablespoon. And I'll have all the, all the recipe on the website, chefstv.com. I'm using honey. You can use maple syrup, brown rice syrup, agave nectar. I'm going to add some coconut extract because I have coconut in there. If you wanted to make them chocolate mint, you can use mint extract. You can use coffee extract. If you cook with edible essential oils, you can use that as well. I do that sometimes. And some almond butter. You can use peanut butter, cashew butter, any kind of nut butter that you like. Add 
check it. See if when you squeeze it, if it sticks together. If it doesn't, you might want to add a little water. I think that's good though. So now I'm going to add in my mix-ins, the things that I want to leave chunky. I'm going to put some pumpkin seeds. Dried cherries. Use any kind of dried fruit you want. I'm going to use cacao nibs. You could use chocolate chips if you wanted to. I like these because they're unsweetened and they give a nice crunch. And then just pulse chop this. You don't want, you know, those are your mix-ins. You want them chunky so you don't want them to get pureed all up in there. So just give them two pulses so they get mixed in. So then in a square baking dish that you've lined with parchment paper, I like to do one this way, one that way, because then it's easy to get out. We'll just take your protein bar mix, put it right in there, and pack it down. And use the size of the parchment so you can really get it packed down good. And then You'll just chill this. You can put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes with the refrigerator for a couple of hours, and then you'll be able to cut it into bars. And so this is what your protein bars look like. Mm. Be great for after the gym, quick breakfast on the go. So don't forget, check out the information that we're putting on the screen, and it'll also be on my website. To use this show side protein powder this healthy rock this healthy chocolate in these protein bars you can use it in shakes um like i said super healthy got antioxidants omega-3s um, lactose free gluten-free so um check that out and make you some protein bars <laughs>